Greetings, YouTube. I found myself thinking about the Disney Tarzan movie recently. I had watched a video here on YouTube, and it was discussing Disney villains. Um, and so I said I just found myself thinking about the great white hunter that was in Tarzan. I don't remember the, the character's name. Um, who essentially kills himself by being wrapped in vines, trying to cut himself three, free, and then hangs himself. Interestingly, as he falls, there's little um, skulls in his eyes. Uh, you have to freeze frame it very slowly. And the whole <clears throat> narrative of the Tarzan story, at this time I should probably say the Tarzan myth, it's been around long enough that it's embedded itself in our culture, is that Tarzan is this essentially super soldier living in the African jungle. That his parents and their ship were shipwrecked near the coast. They survived. They were able to... Um, uh, build themselves a shelter, which doesn't look remarkably Western in its structure. And um, he survived after they died. I believe, at least in the Disney, that was it a jaguar? I mean, cougar, it was a jaguar. No, it would be, no, it would be a jaguar. It would be a leopard. I think it was a leopard that killed them. Um, jaguars are South American, not African. Leopards are African. Um, also, Indian. And uh, they are quite dangerous. Get, no, get, 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 make mo no mistake. Leopards do kill humans. I believe that in one year they killed 12 people in um, Bombay, which is a city uh, with a higher population than the entire state I live in. So they're dangerous. Um, and he survives, and an ape finds him. Um, in the film, it's just a gorilla, I believe. In the books, someone actually speculated that it was a different species of ape because they were like closer to humans than others. Yada, yada, yada. Somebody's just massaging the myth, I guess. The, the thing is, he was raised by apes, and this opened up the ability to communicate with animals and gave him his incredible physicality um, so that he was very ape-like while still having the human intelligence. Now, a lot of this plays into classical myths. The whole man and nature thing, the, the noble savage, um, the, 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 the basic human and such. But here's the thing. In the Disney version, there are no black people. Zero. The crew members that bring the white researcher, his daughter, and the great white hunter to Africa has zero black people on it. In Africa. So the film itself is an incredible whitewash of an entire continent. But the myth itself, if you go back to the original source, the myth itself is white supremacy propaganda. Because there are people that have lived in Africa since there have been people. And they don't possess the physicality nor the capacity to co communicate and control animals. But you drop, drop a white European into that same forest and, hey, will you look at that? You've now married the physicality of nature with the superior intellect of a white European. And you get a god. You get a super soldier that can control nature. Which is absolute and utter bullshit. Now, I understand that when the original stories were written, the only audience for those stories was going to be white men. Okay, flat out. White men, and you know, adolescent men, things like, uh, boys, things like that. That's the audience. That's the only audience that there was for that type of entertainment reading. And so you had to identify with the reader. So they made the main character a white dude. And yet, and yet... Women and people of color, men of color, and women of color, have been having to identify with white male leads in stories for as long as there has been the novel. And no one bats an eye at that. No one thinks it's weird that, that all these stories, thousands and thousands and thousands of novels and comics and TV shows and movies that have all had white male leads and women have had to identify with those 
heroes, and people of color have identified with those heroes without any problem. Yet, for a story to be approachable for white men, the main character has to look like them. This does not put white men in a positive light. I am capable of identifying with a character that is not a white dude. I can still identify with the hero, because the hero, the mythological hero, is not tied to a gender, or an ethnicity, or a country of origin. So, again, this is another t another point in my, my in my development where I peel back another layer and look. Hey, look at that! More horrible white supremacy. We're raising children with these myths, and these myths are telling them that white dudes are the top of the heap. I mean, an entire Disney film based in Africa with no black people, and a myth to its very core that is white supremacist propaganda.